All right, we'll try this again. Sorry. Give people time to get here, but we... Um, we're doing access service uh, today. And uh, this, is, this really comes back to um, looking at ways in which we can, we can offer God uh, sacrifice, offer God our gifts, offer God um, the things that, that we are looking to do. I hope, hopefully, I got a thumbs up thing, so I guess that means I'm in the right direction now. Uh, so that's good. Um, so we're looking at uh, things like uh, intercession, uh, fasting, giving, tithing. Um, that this type of this type of of what it is is to for acts of service to God. In, in a lot of ways, this is this is sort of dedicating um, ourselves to to the living God. And one of the questions that was asked last week in um, in the class for is is where where does when Paul says uh, in Thessalonians pray without ceasing, where where is that coming from? Where do we see uh, prayers without ceasing? Pray without ceasing, and that it really, I think this this comes in this acts of of service aspect of um, where you where you just that prayer becomes a part of who you are. Uh, prayer becomes seeped so much into you that that you live for the glory of God. Um, the camp. That, that I grew up going to, the camp that my kids went to, um, their, their camp motto is, I'm third, which stands for God first, others second, and ourselves third. And, and really, this is, this is sort of the acts of service type of prayer, and that it, that it sort of seeps out from us. Um, we, we talked about before, um, how how your your um, how not like killing your kids to an extent is is a prayer when when you're when you're a mother of of preschoolers maybe when when we we talk about um, all these all these people who have to were in 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 various places it says you know in order to really pray you need to you need to you need to take you know, time for daily quiet time to go off and, and study to go off in the scriptures to go off and, and pray. Um, you know, when do you have time to do that? If you have three kids under the age of five, you know, really your your act of prayer is is to 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 raise them, to care for them, to nurture them, to love them, to to have that I'm third attitude that God is is first, that others are second, and you're self is third like this is this is the reality of what of what praying without ceasing dedicating yourself to god as well as as well as 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 um just that that real attitude so this is this is one of the ways and and um you know the good samaritans a story another another excellent story that that really just shows of how prayer is acts of service that that um, while everybody else passes by the, the wounded man, um, here the people are, are stopping. They're, or the people are stopping. He's stopping. He's stopping. He's, he's um, caring for his wounds. He's taking to the inn. He's paying for him. He's, he's showing and demonstrating uh, the love of God and love of neighbor. And this is prayer. Um, coming out in, in service um, for, for one another. Um, so this is, this is another, another type of prayer that takes place. The other, the other prayer uh, that, that is so, as, as we talk about, is, is uh, fasting, right? It could be as, as a prayer of service. These ones that we don't think about too much, but, but for the most part, um, For the most part, uh, we're we're 
the fasting towards God is, is when Jesus says, when you fast, you know, don't make yourself look dismal. Go, you know, just, just wash your face. This, this, is, this is a way where we, we deny ourselves these things, um, namely food, but you can certainly fast from anything. You can fast from the news. You can fast from social media. You can fast from a variety of things. You know, you, fasting, the reason we fast is that we feast on God. This is, this is the reality, right? That, that, like Jesus says, God cannot live, uh, man cannot live by bread alone, but on the very word of God. And so um, the same type of thing is, is true here. We're, we're invited to, um, to fast in order that we might draw near to God, that we might take that time to, ref to reflect on God. Um, I had, a, I had a, um, a, a fellow priest of mine who, who uh, said, said to me um, before when there was a big argument about eating meat on Fridays, uh, said, the reason, we, the reason we don't eat meat on Fridays is because we say, when we think about it, say, ah, I should not eat meat because Jesus was crucified on Friday and died for our sins on Friday, and therefore, I'm not eating meat. Because, or, if you do eat meat on Friday, you say, I'm eating meat on Friday. Jesus died for our sins on Friday, and, and um, you think about this, it doesn't really matter, right? It puts it either way into your mind about, about what Jesus has done for us. Um, in, in us that, that, that uh, you know, Jesus um, has, has, has died for us. Jesus has, has um, went to the cross on our behalf. And so therefore, uh, you, know, you know, this is, this is why um, we're giving up meat on Friday. And if we don't, then we're still reminded of that. Like this is, this is the point, the whole point is not whether we're doing this or not, it's, it's going back again to uh, the legalism that we just talked about in, in the man born blind. Is, is healing on the Sabbath work or not? Yes, no. Uh, the point isn't, the point of the Sabbath isn't, isn't don't do anything. The point of the Sabbath is to, to glorify God. Um, point of fasting is to glorify God. Um, whatever it is, whatever we do, is to remind ourselves, you know, ah, Right now, I'd really like, you know, something deep, but I'm, but instead, I'm going to offer a thanks to God. Um, so fasting's fasting's one way. Certainly, certainly, giving alms is another act of service, tithing, pledging, those sort of things, where where we give um, to God. It's 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 really a declaration that we trust God for for our provision, right? That that. God has given us everything, and we're giving some back because God's already provided everything that we have, everything that we need. This is this is um, what what God has done for us, right? That that we we don't need um, we don't need to, to to hoard everything that we have um, because because God is the provider, and God will continue to provide, and so we can, we give in glory. Um, to God in return. So, this is the other, and and, and um, intercession is is another way in which is sort of acts of service. We're not we're not praying necessarily for ourselves, although we can pray for ourselves. Certainly, we we've talked about this in other aspects, but where we lift up and and pray and intercede for the needs of the world. For the needs of others, we we sit and we pray, um, we stand um, in the midst and between um, God and, and others in the way that, that Jesus does for us. This is this is part of the um, the ascension of Jesus to the throne of God is that that Jesus stands as mediator on our behalf, but also we have the the Spirit um, of of this um, the Spirit of God. Coming upon us, uh, filling us, uh, flowing in us and through us. Um, so, uh, 
So I keep getting like little text messages coming on my on my phone. So if I all of a sudden blank out, that's what's happening. Um, so we 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 have this this um, reality of of um, standing in in place for uh, in front of God on behalf of someone else. We pray for our we pray for our kids. We pray for our spouse. We pray for the world. We pray for those we don't know, and we lift them to God. And there's power of of praying for for others. Um, there's power of, of praying and banding together to pray for others. And this is one of the reasons that that wanted to do the this um, this day of prayer um, this week uh, as well of, of gathering our community to pray for an hour, taking an hour in the day to pray um, for whatever comes into your mind to pray for our community, to pray for for our, our nation to pray for the sick, to pray for our families, to pray for our church, just to pray um, and, to, and to come to God and, and to get, dedicate ourselves. You know, Jesus says to the disciples, um, could you not stay awake with me just one hour, right? Could you not stay awake with me just one hour? Um, when, he's, when he's in the garden the night, before, the night before he dies. You know, can we... Can, this is, this is, again, offering. It's an act of service. Can we not stay awake um, just one hour with God? Can we not give one hour um, to God? So, as I said, I will send out something about that um, in an email today, tomorrow. Um, and finally, uh, you know, the, the, the passage from... Bibles over here. A passage from Matthew that is that is is often that we can think of that sort of highlights all of this to an extent. Where right? is is when when Jesus says, um, "Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world." For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? Then the king will answer them, truly I say to you, as you did it for the least of these, my brothers, you did it for me. So this is, this is prayer as service, right? That we are emulating. Who God is, who Jesus is, and when we and we we do um, works of Christ for others, um, we are in prayer, and and we're we're being um, we're not only we're not only doing this for others in the name of Jesus, we're doing this for Jesus, as He says. Um, when you do it for the least of these, you're doing it for me. Um, you're, you're being prayerful to me. You're serving me. Um, and this is the reality um, here. So um, I have, the reason I have it like this is if there's questions. I don't know, I don't know if there's um, questions that people have. I'm sorry, if there, it seems like there's connection things, but I don't know. I don't know why people are having people are having trouble right now, um, buffering. If you have questions, I think you put them down below. If not, happy that you join me for these these fifteen minutes, and we'll we'll do this again, maybe next week. We're not going to do the physical touch until we can actually physically touch. So. Uh, we have we have receiving gifts um, is the next one as well. As I said, um, do look at the YouTube channel um, for other things. If you have ideas of of videos um, or teachings, or um, if you're interested in in prayer groups or uh, other things, um, let me know. My email is Father Scott at me .com. You can also uh, just go through the website to coachchurch.com.
and uh, contact us there. I'll give a couple more seconds and then I'll say a prayer. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks and praise for this day. And we pray, O oh Lord, your blessing and your mercy and your grace upon these, your servants. Um, fill them with the power of your strength and your love and your joy this day and always. May we, may we prayerfully serve you in all that we say and all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen.